big night for leaving The storm held off all day By the time he had enough He got to walk out in the rain It's really cool, I mean, Jerry Cortina We're all the same people We're here because, because we love the mountains We love adventure um, But yeah, no, I'm super excited about the competition Because it's the deprivation That's something that you experience I didn't know what I was thinking like, I don't know what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is just working to get as uncomfortable as possible so that I will wake up as soon as my body is ready and be able to keep moving and stop losing time. And um, so far it's been really cool, but I, I can't wait to see what it's like tomorrow. <laughs> Oggi facciamo la seconda morning run della settimana, andiamo al laghetto Gadina ad aspettare i partecipanti della 50 km e poi rientriamo. all the runners here at the 50k and as you can see there's many thousands <laughs> and uh, having a good time. I mean the Dolomites are incredible yeah it's a uh, beautiful landscape and a uh, privilege to run in them. Yeah. It's uh, a gorgeous part of the world and a place I always appreciate being for sure. Welcome back to La Sportiva Radio here at the Labrador Ultra Trail. We're here with John Kelly and uh, my co-host uh, Jonah Wyatt. Uh, we've been on air since uh, early early morning. The racing. It's it's hard to stay focused on that for 60, 70, 80 hours. It's it's tough. So we're here with. Uh, uh, we have Alessio uh, Zambon, we have Roberto Mastrotto. What's your plan for, for uh, the Labrador? Well, this will be my sixth time uh, on the 120 here in uh, Cortina. So I know pretty well uh, every single rock on the, <laughs> on the path. Good luck tonight and uh, in Boca Lupo. <laughs> yeah, hey, he's got it, he's got it down. And um, yeah, have, have fun. Come see me, come see me Benissima, benissima. Come si chiama sto gioco? Super vivere. All right, welcome back to Lavorato Ultra Trail here on La Sportiva Radio. And we are very lucky to have the legendary Tommy Caldwell. It sounds like, or it looks like, uh, you might be doing a little crossover and coming into the uh, the mountain running world with us. Could, we could turn him over to the dark side. If we don't have anything quite like this in climbing. You know, like this, this like this big of a gathering of people all kind of like on an adventure together. And a handful of years ago I started approaching some of my climbing objectives with the runner's mentality and 
you know, these days that used to take me, you know, 15 hours and I'd come back totally destroyed, I'd do it in just half a day and feel pretty good. And I think I've learned a lot from that. Uh, we also know that Anton Krupichka, he's, uh, he sort of comes at it from the other direction, so he come, comes at it from the running side, but also loves, loves his climbing as well. So you know, that combination of, of the two sports, you know, do, you, do you see that as, as kind of being complementary or, or, or physically like, you know, like it's completely different in terms of, you know, the, the elements? Well, I think Anton and I are sort of like what we do came from such different places, but as, you know, it's almost like merging. Andreas Reitrode coming coming into the finish area. He's pushing the pace so hard from the start. And uh, yeah, he had some difficulty up through Valka Bonanza. Uh, he had to reset. The, the spirit of the trail does not ever stop. Like he stayed on, kept on pumping and finished. Bellissima, durissima. Va bene così. Ci riproverò.